The Court Triton VST versus Nexus 3, which is better? Trap Tendo. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this video coming. It's not like I didn't propose this question in my Court Triton video because these VSTs share a lot of similarities and I definitely want to talk about this because there are some things that make them about the same and there are some things that separate one from each other, but I own both of these and I will tell you right now that I'm very satisfied with both and I love indulging in music with these plugins. So the Core Triton VST comes out not too long ago. I reviewed it last week as I reviewed Nexus 3 not too long ago as well. I will have those linked in the description box or at the top right of the screen if you want to see those reviews. And yeah, I really like and enjoy them. Now, I do want to talk about the differences and stuff like that. I'm going to start with the GUI because that's the one simple thing I could talk about. Uh, uh, the Nexus plugin, of course, is vectoral, so you can stretch it out and resize it. Vectoral, uh, by the way, I keep on saying vectoral, vectoral. And yeah, you can see you can re resize it. It's pretty nice. It's really cool. Uh, no dongle now, thank God. And that makes it even better. Uh, they have their own download portal and, and such where you can download it from the cloud or whatever. Uh, it comes with 3,000 sounds. And it sounds like this because I know somebody's going to freaking complain. Oh, where's the sound? And for those who don't, are wondering why am I not using my keyboard in front of me or the push, it's because I'm using my iPad. Video coming soon. You guys are going to flip out when I do that video. But yeah, very good. Comes with three... Uh, no, 3,500 sounds. I think I said 350 sounds or something like that. 3,500 sounds. So that's 3,500 sounds that you get plus. And you can expand upon it. Uh, the Core Triton comes with 4,000 sounds. It comes with all the pre-existing expansions that were available on the keyboard. Again, it came out in 1999. It was used by the Neptunes and such. And so those are some huge producers that have used this in as well as Nexus 3, you know, Skrillex, uh, the 808 Mafia, blah, blah, blah. Yes. So they both have history of why people have fan bases built around that particular plugin. So with that being said, Court. So I'm going to play the Nexus again. You know, that's the thing with Nexus. They always put reverb on a lot of their sounds. So I'm going to turn the reverb off. There you go. And let's hear the chord. I purposely uh, selected a grand piano for both of these because I definitely wanted you guys to hear similar sounds off top. And yeah, as you can hear, they both sound pretty decent uh, here. And I both I utilize what both of these have built inside of them. And I think every Rompler synth should always have a search engine here. So, so if I was to type something like harp, and we're going to hear like a uh, harp arpeggio. This, now this preset right here, damn. So you get free sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that makes me want to talk about some other things about this. So one of the things I think that Nexus does to sell in is their Pidgeos. <clears throat> so the Pidgeo section is really dope. Uh, it's one of the best Pidgeo sections I've ever experienced. Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, some of the things that you can do. Uh, you can do up to four layers. Uh, which is great. It sounds very good. But the problem is, is that you cannot customize different things or add oscillators. So all this is preset stuff that you have control of where you can edit it. So there is a bit of a sound design element to Nexus 3 is just limited to what ReFX wants you to do to it. And I want to criticize that because I think Nexus 3 has a lot more potential if you open it up and allow you to create your own patches as well. But that just goes into the propaganda that ReFX has their own expansion packs and they want to make their own sounds as expansion packs so they don't lose money. Which, okay, I understand that. This is your company. But at the same time, there's sound designers out there that definitely don't want to deal with you but definitely want to make sounds for this and could do a better job and you can discover them that way if you allow us to make our own sounds. That's my criticism of Nexus 3 when it comes to that as well as other things, but I just keep that to the side right now. But it does have 
a lot of effects and you can insert more effects and you have different effects that you can choose from. Unfortunately, you cannot rearrange your effects, which sucks butt cheeks, but you know, that's the what they chose. Uh, you have a, a whole bunch of stuff that you can do as far as modulation, which is great. I think that's a really good thing. And then you have a trans gate as well. We all heard that new little Uzi song. Everybody calls it the mosquito sound, but it's really a trans gate sound. Uh, then you have your librarian where you can pick your sounds out. And of course, you can buy more sounds for it. Uh, that's where co the core Triton kind of takes over as a big time beast. Uh, let me go ahead and addition another sound here because I know there's people out there that are just going to bitch in the comment section. Also, I want to uh, point out that somebody said that I did not mention and I did mention the CPU usage between both of these. The CPU usage between both of these are really good. They're both romplers at the end of the day by heart, but then that's where Core Triton separates itself because it's not just a rompler. You can actually make your own sounds. You can actually pick out different PCMs and you can mix match them. And that's what I want Nexus to be able to do too as well. And that would make for better things. Not only that, you can pick high or low. You got two that you can pick from. You got two oscillators and you can activate which oscillator that you want and you can add more sounds and you can pick from different sounds like i said you can also search for a certain pcm as well and you can do some crazy stuff you can add you can tune it transpose it all the things that you could do with a normal synth uh, you can reverse the actual sound itself which is dope and you can change the offset and of course the volume and stuff like that you can change the pitch modulation you can change the filter uh those are things that you could do in uh, nexus 3 uh, but you can change uh, the envelope as well, the volume envelope, amplitude. Uh, you can do that in Nexus as well. Uh, change LFOs, modulation and stuff like that. Does uh, It does work like that in Nexus too. Uh, that's where things start separating themselves is because you can actually uh, change which, which effect and, and arrange where you want the effect to be. And you have a whole bunch of effects routing. And it gets a, a way deeper than I can understand. Now, one thing I will say uh, about this in particular is that it is not very open when it comes to the pitchios. You do not have your own a, a custom 12, uh, 12 notes to pick from and cycle through like Nexus 3. But you do have 300 presets that you can deal with. I'll just pick one uh, out of nowhere and then... <clears throat> Also, I, f I forget certain sounds do not do appigiation and I don't know what for for sake reason if that's a bug But you can change the speed of course Turn off arc for a second. So I, I think that might be the uh, the weaker part of this. Uh, but yeah, definitely some really good sounds in here. Uh, you, we have already talked about the sounds as far as that. Also, again, search menu. Uh, one of the sounds, the sound section that I really like is the motion sims and slow sims. Arps right there. Uh, one thing I will say is very true to the core Triton sound. Uh, in certain instances here, I definitely want to go through some of my favorite uh, patches uh, inside of Nexus. Make sure I have a. I don't know if I want to show all of them, but whatever. Uh, nah. Double click. Yeah, so <laughs> Nexus got some sounds. So, I mean, you're not really losing with either or. It just depends on what you 
what you prefer at the end of the day. Like if you really are not into editing your sounds or anything like that, and you you're cool with buying expansions from ReFX, then absolutely get ReFX Nexus Three. I think it's really good. I'm I'm not really saying anything against that. Uh, my only gripe about it was that it didn't really add much to the table when it comes to the new Nexus Three. Like what makes it so great outside of the fact that it's compatible with OS Catalina on Mac OS. So that means that you could be able to use that instead of using Nexus two all the time, uh, in the older OS and you're able to update your OS and use Nexus three, which is cool. Uh, outside of that. And then no dongle. I mean, that's the only other thing about it. And I think like one more thing obviously would be the rework GY, but I definitely want to see them implement things uh, like how the core Triton is where you can actually just, if I could go into features and pick out any of the P PCMs, the pre-existing PCMs that they use to create the sounds in Nexus 3, that would make this extraordinary. And I think that would make it well worth the $250 that they're asking for the base price because it, you will pay like a thousand or so dollars if you want all the expansions or something like that. And I think I'm underpricing it now, but <clears throat> the case is that would be great if you could do that. Uh, the thing I would definitely think, uh, as far as the con for the Korg is in, and one of them will probably be the sound quality, even though I know this is based after the exact 1999 is the exact emulation of that, uh, 1999 keyboard, which is the Triton, you know, the sound isn't fantastical, uh, but then again, if it sounded different, a lot of people would notice that and would bitch about it and it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but my other thing definitely will be the ARP section. Again, the reason why the ARP section isn't as extravagant in this one <clears throat> is because if it wasn't like that, if it was like that, uh, like Nexus 3 wouldn't be true to the core Triton, right? But at the same time, I still can't discredit the core Triton, uh, discredit Nexus 3 for having that part. But anyways, I definitely want to hear from you guys. Which one do you like the most, the Core Triton or the Nexus 3? Let me know in the comments. I definitely want to know.